Now, the assassination attempt on the former president certainly was shocking to everyone, especially for the thousands of people in attendance in Butler County on Saturday. One local businessman was in the front row to see it all unfold. Fox 43's James Corrigan spoke to the man who says he felt the bullet whiz by him as the former president came under attack. James. Yes, he did, Amy, and the ramifications of that attack are still being felt, as we've now seen. The thousands who were there in Butler County witnessed three people get shot and one killed, and they nearly witnessed the assassination of a former president. One business owner from Cumberland County saw it all with a literal front row seat. If you followed his right hand straight out, that's where I am, about 20, 25 feet away in the very front row. Jim Schuster is the founder and president of Newville Construction Services and Eleven Oaks Farm in Cumberland County, and a supporter and donor to the Republican Party and former President Donald Trump. Schuster went to Saturday's rally with friends and says he was elevated enough on an embankment to have felt the wind of the bullet that nearly killed Trump. Everybody get down! It whizzed past my, right here, I'd say 12 to 18 inches, past me. He uh, hunched and brought his hand to his ear, and then wasn't like a panic or anything. He kind of spun and went to the deck. While I'm watching all that, two more bullets, and I could see the vapor trails of them, and I could hear them. Everybody down! Schuster and his friends went to the ground, while Secret Service and law enforcement fired at and killed the 20-year-old gunman. When Schuster got up, he saw former President Trump raise his fist to the crowd before being ushered off stage. Attention then turned to the bleachers to the sides of the former president, where three attendees were hit. It was almost immediately they started CPR. In my one video, you could hear my friend Diane crying. Oh, it's a little girl is there, too. A child is there. One of the victims, 50-year-old Corey Comparator, died after shielding his family from the bullets. As the dust settles on the shooting, Schuster says it's time for everyone to take a step back and end the ongoing vitriol in American politics. Yeah, people need to learn respect for each other, for each other's feelings. If your hate of one man is greater than your love of this great country of ours, you are the problem, my friend. Now, Schuster joined the many people who questioned the security of the event. He said the roof where Crooks was on was, was visible to everyone and should have easily been secured. James, uh, did he say anything, though, about the reaction of the crowd during all of this? He did, Amy. He said the crowd was understandably scared, but that they were orderly when they left. No rushing or stampeding out. Of course, we saw the crowd cheering when the former president raised his fist, but of course, not everybody saw what was going on with the shooting victims next to the stage, Amy. Oh, unbelievable. All right. Thanks so much, James.